long-term expectations? Well, my expectations are those guys that play at a championship level. I mean, nothing else. You know, I think uh, you know what we have back there is a lot of talent. You know, I think Bennett and, and Josh, um, just to single those two out, are athletic, they're fast, they're long, um, they're physical, they're tough, they're smart players, um, and they can play at a high level. You know, it's just a, a, it's my job to get them there. Um, Lowood and Jalen, um, those guys are capable players, um, athletic enough, um, smart enough players to do the jobs. Um, but if I'm just purely talking about from an athletic standpoint, you know, there would be a cut below. Um, and guys are still capable for doing the job. So my expectations for all the guys would be able to go out and play winning football. Jamoris took some reps there today. What did he show you? Well, you know, Jamoris has probably been our best, one of our better DBs, you know, since we've been here. Um, he continues to show that. Playing safety, playing nickel, um, and you know, bumped him out um, just as an experiment, just to see what he could do out that way. And uh, again, shows us that there's nothing that, that wherever we put him, he's going to be uh, great at it. You know, and he's going to excel. He's smart, so it's easy for him to line up at a lot of different positions because he's used to driving it from the safety position. So when he moves to nickel or moves out to corner, um, you know, it comes easy for him because he knows exactly what those guys should be doing. It's nice to have a guy with that kind of flexibility. And you just move them all over the chessboard, basically. Well, I think that that's been the benefit that we've had all, you know, since since we've been here. You know, RJ was that guy. Um, Jamoris is that guy. Harrison was that guy that we can move around. So having that flexibility allows you to get some other guys on the field. You know, and while Jamoris may be taking a rep at a position that he may not play, at least you're building depth at the safety spot when Austin's in there or with Dan McCarthy or some of the young guys, Matthias Farley, Isla Hardy, you know, because we know Jamoris can play and be a great safety for us. So by moving him out and seeing what he can do at other spots, that gives us an opportunity to develop some young guys. You still fully expect him, him to be a safety. He is a safety. He is a safety. That, that has not changed. He's not going anywhere. You know, we're, again, trying to develop our young guys and see where those guys are. And we said, we know Jamal can play safety. He can play Nicole. Let's, let's throw him out at corner, you know, and let Austin take some reps and see what Austin, Austin can do. Does it come down to if Austin proves himself as maybe the fourth best defensive back overall, then Jamal is good? I, I would say it would be hard for us to put Morris out at corner just because of what he does for us in the middle of our defense. You know, but what it does is it gives us trust when we're playing certain schemes to maybe move uh, Morris down to the nickel or outside linebacker spot and put Austin in and have confidence. Is, is Lowe close to giving you what you want? Or I guess what's... So I, I think, think there was an expectation that he, him and Bennett would kind of be run one, two. Yeah, right? from the standpoint of understanding what we're asking to get done, He's, he's, he's all the way there. From the expectation of actually doing it in practice, he has, he's not quite met that level of expectation. You know, um, just for example, you know, making plays on the ball. I mean, you expect now he's going into year three. You know, he's, he's, he should be competitive for the ball when the ball's in the air. He should be able to, you know, fundamentally come up and, and you know, break up a ball or a ball disruption or make a physical tackle. And it's inconsistent. Whereas you watch Bennett on the other side, and he's he's pretty consistent. You know, not always great, but he's pretty consistent. And there hasn't been any any fallback. You know, so uh, 